and this is just a little growing area in my backyard. Got stuff um, hung up on the fences, some ferns below, and a f some orchids and a few more ferns up here as well. So I like this fern right here. That's a crocodile fern. You can look at the texture of the fronds itself. Beautiful crocodile scale texture on it. And these are some young um, Scythia cooperi Kalgoorlie Golds. WA Kalgoorlie Gold Sun Hardy. So they're grown, um, they're cultivated in Western Australia for the environment over here. And tree ferns don't re really grow in um, warm, well, very hot and temperate um, climates like Perth. Uh, but this one actually thrives in the environment over here. This is a pretty cool fern. Some sprouts of uh, green hood orchids. These are terrestrial orchids uh, growing down, um, growing more in the Margaret River, uh, River region. And that's about 300 kilometers uh, south of Perth. And so it's quite, it's much cooler there and much more humid up there. A few more of them here. And this is a young uh, Esplanium nidus bird's nest fern. And this is an Esplanium australasicum lasagna. It's a uh, strange cultivar of a, um, the bird's nest fern. And you get these really crinkly, uh, wavy fronds. It's very nice. And this is a rabbit's foot fern. And they call it rabbit's foot fern if we lift up the fronds and we look into the uh, to the roots, you can see why they call it the rabbit's foot fern because look at that little furry rabbit's feet, and that's actually the roots. And that's a staghorn fern, a young one, and it's an Esplanium victoria. Uh, it's another, uh, another type of bird's nest fern, and it's got a really, really crinkly uh, and wavy uh, fronds as well. But it's much thicker than the lasagna cultivar. Below, we have a uh, another young um, Cooperi Kalgoorlie Gold cultivar, with a throwing out a front over there at the moment. A few more ferns around the place, another staghorn fern. Uh, another, this is an Asplenium uh, australasicum. That's another species of bird's nest fern. And this is quite a nice Brentwood cultivar uh, cooperi that I have here as well. And this is a silver lady tree fern, a Blechnum uh, gibbum. And it's about five years old and it has a handsome trunk over here as well. Yeah. And this is a Scythia brownii, a young one. Scythia brownii is uh, they're known as a Norfolk tree fern and they grow huge. Uh, these can grow up to about uh, 18 meters uh, in, in their uh, natural habitat. But in captivity, they rarely grow um, anywhere near that size. And so a few more hanging plants over here. That's another rabbit's foot. It's not a Cooper Kalgoorlie Gold, two of them. This is a desert rose succulent. And that's about it at the back here.